Hey folks, Rob here, and it's uh, day two in the uh, If I Could Only Have Three Guns Challenge I laid out there. And, uh, you know, I laid it out kind of like, uh, you know, the ATF shows up at your door uh, basically to confiscate all your guns but three. Um, you know, you can keep one rifle, one pistol, one shotgun. And uh, if you had 30 minutes to decide, what would your choices be? And what would be the uh, reasoning behind those uh, choices? Um, you know, that's that might not be a popular uh, scenario. Uh, and probably and likely could never happen or would never happen. But, you know, we can't say uh, for certainty that uh, something like that may not happen uh, in our country someday. I mean, look at Australia, look at Canada, where they just arbitrarily ban guns. And, uh, you know, we do have the protection of the Constitution, but the Constitution's only as good as the men who uh, we elect to, uh, to keep it up. Things are already wanting to go downhill. Anyway, so... A more likely scenario, which is, uh, if you got a minute, I'll give you a, a little background and why this is not so hard for me. Uh, this is a challenge that, uh, you know, it's not one I like to think about, but this is a challenge that uh, um, I've kind of been through this before. Uh, about 21 years ago, uh, I, was, uh, I went to work on a Saturday morning. I come home. At noon on Saturday, uh, I worked for Carhartt. I worked a lot of hours. And uh, I come home Saturday. Typically on a Saturday, I'd wor always work half a day. Uh, I'd come home, me and the wife and kids would go do our grocery shopping and do, you know, just do our shopping and things we had to do and spend the day out, go eat and things of that nature. Well, I come home one Saturday and my uh, wife calls me in the bedroom and says, uh, I think uh, we need to uh, separate. She said, I think you need to leave. And I'm like, okay, well, what brought this on? I, I mean, this just blindsided me. Uh, of course, I'd always told her from the get-go uh, the day she was done with me just to tell me, and I'd, 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 I'd go, and that's what I did. Um, in doing so, I had a pretty good gun collection at that point and uh, so here I was homeless had no place to go we had no real savings uh, I had you know my son went with me the day I you know not that day but actually the next day um, he came with me so I had to find somewhere for us to be so I loaded up all my guns and uh, the uh, very first day, I sold five thousand dollars worth of guns, so that uh, that was enough that I could. I went to the lawyer. I paid for the divorce up front. Um, I rented a a, uh, a place to live. I paid all the deposits. Uh, we had no furniture. We had nothing, so I had to go out and buy everything we needed to set up a house: dishes, glasses, towels, washcloths, everything that it took. And that $5,000 I got from the proceeds of the sale of those guns. Um, and it was, it was a terrible experience. I mean, you know, I had some really awesome guns and, you know, but what's more important am I, you know, a roof over my head and a place for my son to lay his head down. So, uh, that may be a more likely scenario that could happen to any of us at any time. Uh, now, some people are lucky enough to have uh, money set aside. I'm always glad when I, people save, but, you know, I've, I've been one of these guys that work from paycheck to paycheck. So a good portion of my collection went uh, uh, to uh, fund us uh, a place to live and some place to be and to pay for my divorce. I hope nobody ever goes through this, but I'm sure maybe some of you have and some will. Um, nothing worse than a vindictive woman. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. And uh, But anyway, that uh, so this is not as hard for me. I've, I've, I've been in the situation where 
I've had it. I've lost it. You know. Uh, would I want to lose it again? No, because I've worked hard to get what little bit of stuff I've got. Uh, okay, with that being said, we're going to go on to rifles. Now, this ain't a real hard thing for me because I was never a big rifle guy. I built AR-15s in the past, but I just can't seem to keep a hold of an AR-15. You know, uh, somebody will come along and like, oh, that's a nice rifle. I'll trade you this for it. And I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> it's just, it's just a, something I, I can't seem to keep a hold of. Uh, I do need to build one to uh, have on hand and keep it this time. But anyway, let me get on to it. So I basically have three rifle calibers to choose from because I'm not a rifle guy. I like handguns, I like shotguns. But the first one I have here is my Marlin XL7. This is in 270 Winchester. I've had this gun for many, many years. Uh, I've used it to take, I've killed three deer with this. Two or three. Yeah, anyway, I've killed some deer with it. Now this is a slick little rifle. It is in 270 Winchester. I have the, uh, Vortex scope on it. Uh, this thing is a tack driver. It'll reach out there. And uh, I think the last deer I killed was at three over 300 yards with this and it dropped like a rock. Uh, awesome, awesome rifle, but this probably wouldn't be my choice. And when I get to my choice, you're going to think, Rob, you're, you're crazier than shit. Uh, and I might be, but I wouldn't keep this because it's a deer rifle. It's a it's a larger game rifle. In my opinion, it's a kind of a one trick pony, and uh, it does that really well. But that's all it does. And this would be a tough one. This is my 1972 Winchester Model 943030. Now this is. This, I love this gun, and, uh, you know, I, I, I just love this gun, but would I keep this gun if all I could keep was one gun, and no, I probably wouldn't, although this could be a good uh, intermediate range uh, home defense rifle, I mean, a lever action is, you know, I think this holds seven or eight, I'm not sure, I forgot, uh, Oh, excuse me. Oh. We went to Candom Park yesterday, and and it was hot. It's so hot here in eastern Kentucky right now. The humidity is so high. You can go outside and just sweat from looking out the window. So this is uh, my Winchester, but uh, this wouldn't be my choice. Although it would be a great deer cartridge, uh, you know, larger game. Uh used for self-defense if need be, but uh, yeah, that wouldn't be my choice. And when you see my choice, you're gonna think I'm, I'm nuts, but my choice would be a 22 rifle. And you're gonna say, well, why in the heck, would, if you could only have one rifle, would you pick a 22 rifle? Well, for starters, you got taken. Uh, first thing I, I thought of was, well, you know, I probably have on hand. Oh my God, probably. I don't know, ten thousand rounds of twenty-two ammunition on hand. So I have a lot of ammunition for this. Um, this is capable of taking small game. Um, this is capable of taking larger game. And people are like, no, that's not good for a large game. 22 uh, will kill anything that you uh, uh, pretty much shoot. You know, it's not, is it the best? No. Is it legal to hunt a deer with 22? No, it's not. But if it came down to a S SHTF, you know, or a WROL or something like that, uh, you can get a 25 round magazines for this. You can get drums for this. You could use this as a self-defense. Uh, you could use this as a small game hunting rifle. You could use this for larger game. 
And uh, when I was thinking about this, I actually thought, you know, what's 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 the biggest thing that's ever been killed with a twenty-two long rifle? And uh, I got to doing some research. Well, you know, over in Africa, uh, they had found a uh, uh, eight-year-old uh, female elephant that had been shot, and uh, it had five rounds in it, and they were twenty-two long rifle, and uh, they found its carcass, and when they dug out the bullets. 22 long rifle. Uh, come to find out, it was shot from a, a CZ uh, uh, bolt action 22 rifle and it had dispatched an elephant. Uh, did it do it cleanly? Probably not. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was used. And uh, there's another case of a, uh, I think this woman was in Canada uh, who killed a grizzly bear with one shot from her 22 rifle when her and her husband met one on the trail and it came aggressive toward him. She put a shot between its eyeballs and down the bear went. So, you know, uh, uh, elephant, grizzly bear. Now, I'm not advocating that this, to you do that. Uh, but I'm just saying that people highly underestimate the 22 long rifle. A good shot. I have seen many a 400 pound hog drop with one shot from a 22 long rifle. And no hog's head is pretty hard. Uh, you know, uh, can you get the occasion where that bullet's going to bounce off? Maybe so. But, you know, a rifle like this, you got, you know, anywhere from 10 to 25 to 100 round drop. Um, this is highly modifiable. Uh, and since, you know, I have two 1022s and I have the, Mar uh, the uh, Savage 60, the Steven 64F have a Henry, so, you know, uh, but this, I feel like, would be the best one just because of parts availability and the such. So, 22 long rifle, and the reason I'd keep this one is because my, I won this off my old buddy Boomstick779 in his uh, 10,000 subscriber giveaway, and since uh, I was going to choose a 1022 anyway, I might as well take the one that has some sentimental value to me. This is kind of a twofer. So, sentimental value, and it would be the gun I would keep. So, chime in there, guys. Let me know uh, of the three, which one would you have chose? And if so, why? And, uh, you know, this challenge went out to my fellow YouTubers, but I didn't mean for it to be solely for uh, YouTube uh uh, video uh, makers, I, everybody's welcome to, in the comments, uh, tell us, tell me what uh, rifle you would keep. Uh, maybe tell me, you know, I got this and this and this and, and this is the one I'd keep because of this reason, you know. Uh, or just, you know, say, hey, I'd keep this rifle. This is the one I own and this is the one I'd have. So, anyway guys, fun little exercise and, uh, you know, uh, a potential scenario that uh, nobody ever wants to face and uh, hopefully when none of us ever have to again in my case I kind of have so anyway beside the point anyway guys thanks for watching the series I'd like to give a shout out to Mark Thomas who's doing the challenge uh, my old buddy Dragon Rider watch his videos Dragon Rider 365 he's he's kind of put a different little twist on his which is fine um, you know, this is this is just something. This is an exercise to kind of say, "Hey, I own all this, but if I could only have this, what would I pick?" And uh, I think my old buddy Boomstick might be a struggling a little bit. I mean, the man's got some guns, and it would, but I, I could see where it'd be hard. But I also know that he's 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 been through kind of a little bit of the same stuff that I have, and uh, you know. Maybe uh, maybe he's uh, not having quite so much problem. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry this video went so long. I've rambled. And uh, I appreciate everybody. You know, give me that thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, you know. And if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. You know, it helps the channel grow. Keeps me motivated. And, uh, you know, wanting to make videos. 
So anyway, guys, till the next one, which should be tomorrow, which will be handguns, my handgun. I think that is going to shock you too. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching.